Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Today's video is to show you how to create dynamic website by using the Bricks Builder with Advanced Custom Fields plugin. It includes as well custom post types, custom taxonomies, native Bricks Builder filters with many tips and tricks. If this is what you're looking for, let's get started. This is the archive page template we are about to recreate in this video to showcase all the available properties for sale or for rent. To start things off, we need to create a custom post type called listings and the custom meta fields associated with it so that later we can put all of this together to our Bricks Builder archive page design. And the custom taxonomies are used as filters to showcase the catalog. All right, so move over to Advanced Custom Fields tab within your WordPress dashboard in order to create a custom post type. Click on Custom Post Type. You enter here the name in plural and it could be anything of your choice. I enter listings in singular as well. As for the post type key, this is automatically generated by ACF based on the post type name and choose it wisely as this post type key will be used as the URL of the archive page. And next up, click on the advanced configuration option to enable advanced configuration. Scroll down a bit to configure the URL, click on it, and this first permalink rewrite option is what I was talking about. And by choosing this option, post type key, it corresponds to the post type key above. And it basically means that it will use the post type for the archive URL. Scroll down now, now a bit and locate the archive option. Make sure you enable it and save the changes. And that's it. Refresh the WordPress dashboard so that you easily find now a new entry on the left sidebar called listings. Okay, next up we will be creating together custom taxonomies so that they will be utilized as filters within the archive page catalog to sort the products out. And afterwards I will apply these categories to each product. For that reason I will be creating now two types of taxonomies one containing the types of products, while the other one will be to display the product's features. So, back to WordPress dashboard, click on the taxonomies option. Add taxonomy, enter here as previously the, pl the plural and the singular labels. I go with property types, singular is property type, and the taxonomy key is automatically generated by the plugin and it will be used as the URL for the taxonomy archive page. Lastly, under the post types, field associated with your post type. And to me is a listing custom post type. Save changes. Once saved, I will repeat the process now for the property features. So I click once more on the taxonomies, click to add a new one. For me, I enter property features, a plural and singular. The taxonomy is automatically generated, as I said before, and associated with listing. Save the changes. Now I need to create some custom fields for my listing custom post type. So to create, simply click on the fields group, add field group, give it a name, I call it property details, click to add a field, and the first ACF field is the property deal type, and the user will select one of the choices, so I use the select field type for this. So under this drop down, locate the select, this one. I labeled as property type and the field name is generated by the ACF plugin and to speed thing things up you can press the tab key from your keyboard in order to generate it automatically. Now under the choices I enter my two options and each one should be 
inserted in a separate line. So one is for rent and the other one is for sale. Now I simply navigate to the presentation tab to decrease the box filled with. So I enter here 33% for the wrapper attribute meaning that this field will only take one third of the entire WordPress editor width. Moving on, close this field and for my second FCF field, this time I will use a text field and the label will be best price. Enter, press the tab key from your keyboard and now I adjust the wrapper attribute to 33%, taking only 33% of the WordPress editor width. Close this up, enter a new one, and the next, and this next one will be to list the price. So for this, I select a number field type, this one. I labeled simply as price, press the tab key and simply press the presentation and enter a 33%. I speed up now the video so you don't waste any time. I will be showing you the final result afterwards. And here are the hate fields. It consists of text, numbers and a gallery field type. However, there is a very important step we need to make, that is to set the field's location rules. We are saying ACF plugin to display these fields in a specific part of the website editor. So to do that, just scroll down a bit. Under the location rules, select it. The post type is equal, is associated with custom post type listing. Save the changes. Now that the ACF editing work has, has done, we start adding the properties for sale and for rent. And now I will show you how to add property features and property types. So click on listings, property types. And now I had in apartment, luxury homes and open house property types. You will enter the name, you enter the slug here in lower cases and you end up by clicking on the add new property type. And as you are viewing, I have already my three property types, open house, luxury home and apartment. And now I repeat the same steps to have my property features. And now to add my properties, I click on add a new listing by filling this, all of these ACF fields just created a few minutes ago. And I will enter here some dummy text. This is for sale. I also had my gallery image. Click on the head gallery, media files, simply cl click to insert the images. Now click on the listing, property features and let's assign some property features. You just enter the property you want to assign to, press enter and I also assign a feature image, publish. And so I created six properties and it looks like this. And now we go ahead in order to create a property archive page template inside Bricks Builder for the listing custom post type. Create a, a template inside Bricks. You access the Bricks entry and then templates. Click to add a new one. Give it a name. On the right sidebar, I select archive, publish, and after have been published, you click edit with bricks. Inside the bricks builder interface, click on the gear icon as I want to set up the template settings. Open template settings. Under conditions, I want to determine to show the templates archive page, so my condition would be archive and then under the archive type I specify this is a post type 
and then just enter your custom post type label. I enter a container and then I will insert the post widget within this new and this widget will allow me to display my posts in a grid format. Let's do this. So search here for posts by clicking on the post posts widget inside the content tab within Bricks Builder we actually don't have an option to query my custom post type data. We have the layout, the image fields, content overlay filter and pagination. And at the moment, it's displaying the default hello WordPress post. And that's not exactly what I want. However, we can make use of the query by clicking on this icon and the query loop allows me to retrieve data from my WordPress database. So that's exactly what I want. So click on it and the loop is dynamic data. Now under the post type, I can specify my listing custom post type and it's displaying actually the feature image, the title and the excerpt. However, there's missing the ACF data. Let's take a closer look at the fields section, this one. Opening this up, we have two fields, the post title and the post excerpt. So to bring up the missing ACF data, I will use this fields itself. Click on the head field button, use the dynamic data, scroll down and this is, these are all the WordPress database data you can bring up. I'm looking for ACF, there you go, I want to list my price. This is an ACF field and then all you have to do is to just delete this, you don't need it anymore and you can write down additional string. You can change the HTML tag and as you are viewing all of my listing custom post type has been updated. We can also add a background color, for instance, this one, if you want to. And we can also insert uh, some text. For instance, I want to insert the dollar sign just between these two. Insert a dollar sign from your keyboard and it's dynamically generated and all my prices have been updated. We can also duplicate this. Just click on this little icon and then change the parameter delete this, select the dynamic data icon, then scroll down and find the dynamic data you want to insert here. Let's say I want to insert the number bedrooms. There you have it. We can customize it further. For instance, I can change this to a paragraph, HTML tag, you can remove the margin top and bottom by default has 20 pixels top and bottom. We can change the order of the fields by dragging and dropping to whatever place you want. Just like that. I, we can delete any field. I wish there is an inline option and a horizontal alignment to insert the ACF data. Also an option to insert icons to this ACF data. Under the content we can customize it and optimize it further. We are allowed to align this and to set the content alignment to display the dynamic data. And you can also set the pagination here. And I now fast forward the video as the steps are extremely repetitive. All right, I had it and applied styles to all the ACF fields and visiting now at the front end to check how it looks so far. It looks pretty good to me. This is a dynamic and visually appealing grid archive page using Bricks Builder. And now to enhance navigation and user experience, let's add in filters. As you can check, the URL is displaying the listing custom post type. And now simply under the filter section, I want to assign my property type types listing and here they are. We can stylize it further by having a background, background active, border, typography and much more. To recap, we have created a custom post type, then we 
associated custom fields with the ACF plugin and we finally made this awesome dynamic and visually appealing read, read archive page using Bricks Builder. Everything is working as it should be. I really hope this video tutorial has been helpful to you. And if I were you, I would click on the video you are viewing on the screen right now to learn how to create a dynamic unique read card in Bricks Builder by using the Query Loop Builder. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Natalie. Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. And if you like it, please hit the like button. It really helps me to rank higher on YouTube algorithm.